Gareth, uh, first things first, tell us about your uh, your first visit to Nosley Road, not as a home fan, but as a, a visiting spectator. Well, my first visit to Nosley Road that I can really remember was a, a 2004 Wigan versus Saints Good Friday, half past 12 kickoff, where Wigan and Saints drew 20 to 1. It's a great game, it's pl plenty of passion, plenty of scrapping, and we re really, really enjoyed it. I remember Vividly, one of my favourite players, Terry Newton, he scored under the sticks to draw it, to draw it, to be winning 22-21, and then Jean Long kicked the goal in the 80th minute to sink us. Those, yeah. th those were the type of games, particularly Saints Wigan, that I think people will remember most fondly from Lonesley Road. Yeah, I think so. I think Saints, Saints and Wigan games that have a different atmosphere to any other, any other atmosphere, and you've just got to. You've got to be, you've got to be there to feel it. You can't, you can't explain what it's like. It's just, it's just totally different to any other Super League game. It's bragging rights. It's, it's. You get the chance to give, to give the other fans a bit of stick till, till the next game comes round, which is always good. Obviously, Nosey Road is a distant memory now, but um, I mean, how would you describe it? Uh, I would describe Nosey Road as a. As a shed, basically, but it was a it was a shed that had a lot of character, and it was a place that I really, really enjoyed going to. I mean, that that is actually my first memories of going and watching rugby league. So to me, it's like a home from home, really. Even though I'm a Wigan fan. What um, area of the stadium did you tend to to go? I sit. I sat at the bottom end near the away fans, uh, just across from the big screen. So yeah, you could see everything what was going on, and like, yeah, you could see you could see all the decisions that the Saint, the Saints team was getting, other than the, other than the Wigan lads. But you know, I really really enjoyed it. It was it was it was a time that I really looked forward to going and and sit because I sat in the same place every single time that I went. So it was something that we really enjoyed going to as a family. So the facilities weren't great, really. No, not not particularly, but. I thought that added to it really. I mean, it's not not very often you go to, go to places where there's no there's no roofs on toilets, which is different, shall we say? The uh, as the players come out, you obviously see the popular side sort of uh, explode as well and, and really get behind them. As a as a way fan, that was probably the target of most of your singing, the popular side. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah, yeah. You keep giving, keep keep giving the abuse, and it was backwards and forwards all the time. And, you know, it's it's just a genuinely good atmosphere. I mean, everybody talks to everybody, and there there was banter, but nothing nothing too bad. And again, when you compare it to other sports, you've got two sets of of rivals there, but no segregation and no problems. No, no problems at all. I mean, it's not like you're going watching football where you have to have five hundred five hundred police, like splitting everybody up. I mean, you, you you can sit together and there's no there's no bother, which is which is great really, because you don't get that in many sports, as you say. No zero as a fan, obviously we spoke to a lot of Saints fans, but also fans of other clubs, and they seem to speak quite fondly of the tradition of Nosley Road. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it, as I say, it's different to most places that you go to, and it, it had a different atmosphere to most places you go to, and yeah, I, I will miss it as an away fan.